guys, this is the AC Service Tech, and today what we're looking at is a unit uh, that I believe it most likely has a bad capacitor. Um, the evaporator coil up above has frozen, I'll show you that, and it's all wet down here on the ground, and up top here is all, is all wet, okay? All right, so... Um, I'm going to shut the power off. Normally I use a, a magnet like this to hold the door switch down. All right. In this case, I'm just going to go ahead and electrical tape it. Once again, I shut the power off to this unit. Always confirm that the power is off before doing anything. Electrical tape doesn't like to stick onto metal. But it does like to stick onto itself. All right. All right. So that's holding the door switch shut. Power still off. All right. This particular one, if you can see that, inside here you have spade terminals where the thermostat wires are going. Okay. So with the power off, what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull the red all right, and the green. We can either take a voltage reading between green and common to see if the signal for um, the signal for the thermostat calling the fan to turn on, or we can just go ahead and jumper R to G. All right, we're going to turn the unit back on. All right, the unit is on. And we should be calling for, yep, and then you just heard the click. You should be calling for the fan to turn on. You just heard the click on the control board telling the the blower motor to turn on. All right. Now we can take a resist, actually a voltage reading. All right, I'm going to move this back. All right, so we're going to go on to the blue, which is fan. We're going to come down to the common, and we have 121 volts. All right, let's see if you can see that. So we're going to go blue to common, 120 volts. All right, so we got 120 volts going to the fan. All right, the next thing that we're going to do is we are going to check that capacitor. That's located right there, all right? So if you see that capacitor right there, the top is actually bubbled up a little bit. That's a, usually a telltale sign that the capacitor is bad. All right. Uh, but what we're going to do is we're going to disconnect that. We're going to turn the power off first. Then we're going to disconnect it. And then we're going to test the capacitor. All right. Power is off. That's confirmed that it is off. All right. Then we're going to pull the spade terminals off. You always want to use, um, I always use these wire strippers and cutters. All right. Then we got to take that 516 screw out. Right. After checking to make sure you have voltage going to the blower motor, the only other thing it usually is, typically, is the capacitor. Now, the motor could be completely um, burnt apart as far as the windings go. That could be bad. All right, let's just test this before, because we can't completely get it all the way out here. So it says 12.5 UF, all right, 12.5. So we're just going to scrape it with something that is just metal, bare metal, just like this. Make sure any uh, voltage is dissipated out. And then we're going to check a microfarad reading. All right. 
So we're going to put that on the capacitor. Remember, the power's off. It's it's disconnected and everything. And we're going to let that sit for just a little bit, all right, until we can get a good reading on this. All right, I'm pressing pretty hard onto those terminals, and we are getting absolutely nothing. Right, we're getting nothing. It's not even searching to see if uh, usually sometimes you'll see a dotted line go across here while it's reading the microfarad reading. All right, so that capacitor is bad. So now we just got to take that out and replace it. The 12.5 UF capacitor. All right. Now we're lowering the control board down just in order to get this capacitor out. All right, you can see the capacitors wide. It's kind of bulged out on the sides. All right, you can see the, the top is bulged. All right. We're going to go get another one. All right, so this old capacitor, this is a 12.5 UF, 370 VAC, all right, plus or minus 6%. All right, so if you measured anything within 6% of 12.5, it would be good, and we measured absolutely nothing. So here's our new capacitor. All right, and that's a 12.5. you got to make sure you uh, replace it with the exact same kind. Uh, meaning the exact same MFD rating, not manufacturer. But this was 370 or 440. It's good for either one. It, since it's a 370 VAC cap, we can replace it with a 440 or 370. All right, so we're going to go ahead and do it. All right, so uh, the new capacitor is, is installed. It's the same MFD rating or UF rating as the old one. The door switch is actually taped shut because I can't use a magnet on this particular one. All right. Now I'm going to go ahead and turn the power on. I did take the jumper out from R to G because I, I do have that calling on the thermostat presently. All right, so we're going to go ahead and turn this on. All right, we just turned the power on, and we should be getting a signal from R to G. Oh, there you go. And then there's the blower motor turning on. All right, I am going to have to address this water coming down here. It's dripping from the... Uh, from the top of the unit, that's not good. All right, so I gotta, I gotta clean all that off. All right. Well, hey, hope you enjoyed yourself, and we'll see you next time at AC Service Tech Channel.